Base Walmart. Let's see what we got. Uh, got the same old, same old looks like in this stuff. Oh crap, they got a big restock of multiverse down there. You got anything down through here different? We'll come back and check this stuff, guys. It looks like about the same. Let's see what they got. Oh, they got Cyborg. Cool, they got the new wave, at least one of them. Ah, oh, question. Cyborg, question. Shining Knight, Red Hood. They gonna have Effigy. One more chance behind Red Hood. Oh, Red Hood. <laughs> Still cool to see these, check that out. Uh, barcodes for people that need them. There is Cyborg. Oh man, the quest is a cool looking figure. Barcode, Shining Knight. Look there, Bent Sword. My recent rant and whine about multiverse. <laughs> Red Hood, man, Red Hood looks pretty sweet. Not a bad looking figure. Barcode. Well, that's cool. I got two Red Hoods. A bunch of Shazam, Steel, Reborn, Bullseye, Hugo Strange. There's another Cyborg. Over here we got Grayson Common, Grayson Common, Fusion Common, Batman, Batman, Batman um, Beyond, Shazam, Shazam, Max Mercury. All of those are Shazams. All those are Max Mercuries. So someone has already got the effigy figure. But pretty cool to see these at least. Let's see what else they got. Uh, I stocked the Star Wars Black Series stuff. I, was, oh, I don't think they had all those Acolyte figures last time I was in here. Oh, and here's some of the Monday Night War. We saw these the other day. Triple H. Sean, Triple H. Sean, Triple H. Triple H. Triple H, Triple H. <laughs> a lot of Sean and a lot of Triple H. I don't see any of the others. That was kind of odd. They only got those two. Oh, I guess I could show a barcode for people that hasn't found these yet. There's Triple H. The Sean Triple H figures are coming. This is probably the weakest likeness out of these new waves, I think. This is. Oh, I killed the Heartbreak Kid. <laughs> but this is the one that's got Bam Bam and Eddie. That Eddie figure is nice. Anybody's been looking for that thing. You watched my last weekend hunt video, you know, I found that one and grabbed it. Anything AEW? Oh, that's a probably stock today. They've actually put a good amount of stuff out. Um, still got the shipper there with the monster trucks in it. And what have we got on diecast while we're on here? Oh, we do have some new. Oh, check this out. The new wave of these. Here is the Myers Manx. And we got the Mazda station wagon. So let's lay them over here. There's two of them. There's the pimp van. Ford Transit. What else we got here? We got a Tommaso Pantera Custom Acura Integra. So we need two more. And there is the oh man, I think it's cool looking Pantera. And do they have the, um, may not have the Acura, is that a different color? I don't know, it's the same thing. Nope, got a mob with the Acura, somebody's already grabbed it up. Still cool to see though. No, I don't. I wear an orange class three traffic shirt, nobody thinks I work at Walmart. <laughs> Anywho, let's see what else we got, guys. Um, trucks. I don't see anything much different here. I found the AMC Spirit in the or AMC Eagle. I mean, in these things, and I meant to buy it. And I left the store that morning and forgot. I can't remember now when I found that or if I even showed that in my video. But anywho, they don't have it. Anything else happen in the world of diecast? Any on speeders? And then we'll dig through Hot Wheels off camera, but I'm not seeing too much off the get go. I think I need Spider Man in cap out there. I can't look at it right now for some people, and we'll check that out in a second. But yeah, pretty good, guys. I got the new multiverse here. It's cool to see these, but we're going to look around a little bit more, see if we can find us anything else. Plus, we'll check collectors. And I got to hang these back up. I don't think I'm going to get these. I don't know. They're cool to see though, but we're gonna look around a little more. Oh, never mind, they got stuff up here. There's another one of those. Oh, here we go, they do have them all. Huh, glad I looked up there. 
there you go guys the whole wave of these for any of you die cast people but yep cool new wave of premium hot wheels we got some new dc multiverse minus the effigy so we're gonna look around see what else we can find well there is a spider-man end cap it's just not very exciting <laughs> i think that's one when we see that at ross last year and then this mask we've seen before is on this side of it so yeah you do have a new spider-man end cap there's not much exciting stuff on there nothing left on the old stock thing here so let's run back to collectors see if they got anything back there well i found this back here in the christmas section of the home base but check this out we got the holiday little coke cars m2 that come out every year <laughs> that's kind of sweet what we got there grand national chevrolet van 1960 vw van a mustang there's a challenger hemi chevrolet cheyenne pretty sweet I again found it back here in the christmas sections and you diecast guys want to look for these check your christmas section in case you can't find it in regular diecast <laughs> but anywho let's check these out and see what else they got good morning my friends we are here at yes a walmart store in abingdon virginia we're going to run inside here today and see what kind of stuff they got for us see what abingdon's got for us today a bunch of transformers yeah i don't recognize anything looking all that different but there might be some new in there guys i don't know Who's that one? Chase. I think I seen Chase. Two tickets to paradise. I'm going to edit the music out of this clip, but Eddie Money is wanting me to pack my bag so we can leave tonight. Uh, some old Godzilla and Kong looks like. I don't think they have the turtle shipper yet. I didn't see it out there. Unless they just got the stuff mixed in here. Steel Baxters and Genghis's. There's high school Michelangelo. Um, same old Fugglers. There's Model 9 Iron Man. Who we got in the Iron Man figs? Iron Man, Whiplash, Nefaria, Nefaria, Whiplash. And up here is somebody. Gold Iron Man. Model 1. Still got Banner and still got Black Widow. <laughs> Three Banners and a Widow. I thought that widow was gone last time I was here. Maybe somebody hit her and they found her and put her back. Um. Oh, we got some red hood and cyborg here. I wonder if we got any of the new platies. There's Common Fusion, Adam West, Bullseye Batman, Common Grayson, or Hugo Strange back there. And then Shazam. All oh, those are Max Mercury's. So somebody's already got the platies. <laughs> There's another cyborg. Second time seeing these guys this week. And then you got a red hood up here. Red hood figures look that bad. I'm not super familiar with the red hood character. I know it's Jason Todd, but I was getting out of the comics right around probably the time that he started coming into it. I do remember, though, when Jason Todd, you had the phone number you could call to vote to kill him or Batman save him. It so wasn't like an overwhelming majority <laughs> voted to kill him. Like, huh. It's kind of awkward. Um, Man, Eddie Money is blaring on the radio right now. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it or not, but got a bunch of the Cobb van. Um... Oh, I guess new Monday Night Wars we'll look at in a second. Who's up here? Roman Reigns and Roman Reigns and Roman Reigns. Reigns. There's a butch. I wonder if it's a common or a chase. It is a common. And there's Elton, Elton, San Martino. Another common butch. Piper's, Albino. All right. There's AJ. One I've seen before. AJ seen it. Yeah, I've seen that way before. There's Dominic from Bobby Lashley. Well, who we got here? We got Bam Bam. I like the Bam Bam figure. There's a barcode if you need it. Triple H. Four Triple H and two Bam Bams. Still cool to see some of those. They sold out of the Stinger. I think got some stuff here this morning. This one hasn't had any new stock in a while. It's cool to see some stuff. What else we got, guys? Simpsons, no new Joes, no Motu at all. Does this place still have Motu? I don't remember. AW. No. Okay, they haven't got pegs for Motu anymore. I thought they did. 
Um, Sonic stuff. They don't have the new bike or that cool crab thingy. Uh, where's Mario figure? There are no new links. Um, nope, no new link. Bendies. I'm not seeing much else on this side, guys. There's our sleeping Pokemon. We gotta be quiet. And I think that's it for this one, everybody. Let's head over to the diecast now. Plus, we'll go back and peek in collectors. The bear collector section is very, very small in this store. So I don't expect they'll have anything. We're gonna get some pictures, some wrestlers, and some multiverse there for our thumbnail fodder. And let's go see if we can find anything else. What do you got, diecast? Oh, a bunch of wrestling or wrestlers. Ha <laughs> ha, race cars. Haley Deegan. I don't know any of the new wrestlers, guys. Or wrestlers. I keep calling them wrestlers. NASCAR drivers. In my defense, I have put in quite a few hours this week, so I'm a little stupider than usual. There's that newer wave, or one of them anyways. Saw the whole wave of these in Greenville. Started to get them because I found the whole wave, but then again, eh, not a whole lot of vehicles in that. I really won't. And there's Optimus. Some of those. Not much going on the big die cast. What else we got down through here? Anything? A bunch of mon oh man, all kinds of monster jam up there. Don't know who and all they got up there though. I'm not going to take them down and try to dig through them. Eh, series 34, Marvel. Moving parts. Don't see any Harry Potter card art. What we got here? Slap bed and tree bucket. Uh, off road rally is a bunch of them. What do we got? Matchbox. Uh, I'm not seeing anything too exciting here. Still keep forgetting to look up online what that Indiana Jones matchbox car looks like. I may have dreamed that thing. Who knows? There's the Porsche stars and stripes. A bunch of neon speeders. This is the one that had them all but number one, and someone had stolen number one out of the pack last time I was here. I still don't see number one. And they got a full Hot Wheels peg. Oh, that's cool. It's like a repainted little silver one. 904 Cadet. Carrera. Uh, small block. As usual, you know what I'm going to say. We're going to dig through these Hot Wheels. If I do find anything... Oh, that Ram Charger's nice. That Dodge Dart. If I do see anything in here, I'll show it to you. Here's a little tuned out Mazda. But... Anyways, guys, we're going to look around a little bit more. If we can find anything else, I'll show it to you. If not, we're going to go over there and try to be stalked and attacked by those fugglers. If I can figure out how to do it, I am going to put the scene from Mortal Kombat with Shang Tsung right here saying, It has begun. I can't say it like he did. Look here, we got the red table showing up. Don't really have crap worth looking at on it right now, but hey, it will before Christmas gets here. What have we got over here, guys? Looks like most of the same. Still got a grod back there. Somebody grabbed one of them. They still got one left. Those are $7.99 for the Mega Fig Grods. Uh, Raccoon Mario. You got some chases here. And that one was a chase. I had a chase Raphael yesterday. But I don't see it today. Um, Leonardo. There's a Warcraft down here. Which one we got? The Orc. I can't remember if they had that yesterday or not. These are $4.99, by the way. That looks like... Well, there's the anime figure. All in one. We're going to dig through this, guys. If I do find some other stuff that I didn't see here yesterday, I'll show them to you. But right now, first glance, I'm not seeing much different. There's a Chase Mikey. One of the one in fours that might have been here. I don't remember. Any, I don't remember that either. <laughs> but anywho, let's go dig around and see what else we can find. Well, the only thing I really see different, guys, is this. This is pretty cool. You got Bugs Bunny dressed as Fred driving the Mystery Machine Pop. <laughs> At thirteen bucks, so we're going to skip on that. But that was not here yesterday. We're going to get some pictures of it in case I put it on Instagram. Um, I think those were here. Everything else was kind of the same. Nothing's really jumping out as being different. So we're going to dig through here a little bit, guys. I find anything that does look different. Oh, yeah, there's some different. Power Rangers. Oh, look at that. The green and the white. Man, somebody's going to grab that for Jason David Frank. 
How much are those? Seven ninety nine each. That's pretty sweet. Got some Roblox stuff. That's different too. Well, never mind. They might have some more different stuff. Maybe I should have looked around before I said anything. It's on the end cap here. Um, I think this was here yesterday. It's like a one and four. Yeah. And then these Roblox things weren't here. If they are, I didn't see them. They're all the little Viking dude. But yeah, pretty cool Power Ranger stuff here. But we're going to head out now, guys. I'll check up front. If anything's there, you'll see it. If not, we're probably out of here. GameStop in Bristol, Virginia. Let's run in here and see what the fun old GameStop's got today. And check this out. They are putting up the sign for Bristol Bricks. I think they are supposed to open, I think, around the 17th of October. So we'll be checking on that one as well. But let's run in here see what GameStop's got. We're looking at the ceiling in a blank wall on GameStop. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Dave on Instagram. The guy always mentioned about giving the positive vibes because oh, they got all kinds of stuff. What do we got here, guys? They got another Hulk. This is an old one, but the Joe Fix It Wolverine two packs. Oh, we got a Strange Tales. They've got Lilith. That's cool. First time seeing one of those in the wild of that wave. Wow, a Dark Hawk. <laughs> Still 38 bucks. This was an awesome figure. I got that. I can't remember where I got mine from. But check this out. We've got new collector's editions. No platinums, but they do have the new commons. There is Green Lantern. We're going to lay that over there. They do have the Dark Knight Returns Batman, but unfortunately, it's beat to crap. So this is probably one I would have picked up, but not going to get it in the box beat up, so I don't want to take these out of the box. But check out the head sculpt. This one doesn't look too bad, guys. I do have that pre-order of Entertainment Earth, hoping to get a platinum. And then there is Huntress. Now, Huntress is in pretty good shape. Of course, her packaging. CL mentioned my last video about how GameStop gets good stuff, but it's usually kind of beaten up. And he is not wrong. There is Robin. I haven't seen Robin yet. Common version of Robin. Another red hood there. There's your barcode for Robin. And what's behind there? It's a Brainiac booster. And then put the same stuff down there on the bottom. But awesome to see that strange tail of the left. I want to take pictures of those and I'll put them back on the shelf as soon as we check the back side here. Diablo stuff. Oh man, they got Shockwave. I've only seen him like twice. And actually, I think every time I've seen him, he's been in this store. <laughs> they still got Torpedo. Still got Flint and Bazooka hanging out back behind him. I didn't really show Bazooka. There you go. There's a Magneto helmet, and I saw another one up there on the counter. So they've gotten two of those in lately. Oh, he's got Swoop. All right, not a bad day at GameStop. Barcode for Swoop again. Got Frat Features, Ray, Vakeman, and Egon. She-Ra. And not a whole lot going on there in the... There's Dinobot Scar. That's kind of cool, too. I don't know if I've seen that. All right, guys. We're going to look around and check some more stuff and get us some pictures. If I see anything else, I'll show it to you. But if not, that may do it for GameStop. A good GameStop run. What are you in Star Wars? Darth Vader, OSHA. I think these are new. This guy. And he a re-release. I'm thinking him on, like, Darth Maul. And some more were put back out here recently. I don't know that for sure. It's not because I saw somebody just pick that up. Uh, I would be tempted to get Darth Maul. I don't know why I've had him, but I don't see him. Well, they got that Darth Maul. <laughs> uh, yep, that's what we got going on in our Star Wars. They got that Darth Vader helmet. That thing's pretty sweet, too. 125. But we're going to check a couple more spots. He's got a few more boxes up there. I won't ask if they have any other figures anywhere. If they do come up with anything else, I'll let you see it. If they don't, we're getting out of here. Back in GameStop one more time this week, guys. Everything's about the same they had yesterday. I don't know if I pointed out Cyborg or not, but he was here yesterday. This, though, was not. They did get the Deathstroke. So now they've got Deathstroke and they've got Robin we saw yesterday. So pretty cool. 
nothing else here that have changed and we're going to finish up now if i see anything else in here before i leave i'll show it to you but yep they did put him out on the shelf good morning everybody we're here at a walmart we're in bristol tennessee we're going to run inside and see what the tennessee walmart has for us this morning collector section got some plushies up here then we got pumps not much jumping out the side and they have to put some boots that one should be on sale for ten dollars uh, they got the rainbow or the what are those called smiling critters things there is that part of rainbow that's part of probably poppy playtime sorry guys i don't know that my kids know that more i know a little catnap thing there i got that from madison a while back man they still got platinum clever lane that's been here now for like a month they do have one of the predators he is 25 dollars. same thing with frankie and then you've got um one of the turtle two packs here for 35 still left now they've sold some of those they had i think two of the foot soldiers or two of the kinos last time i was here you can see a bunch of anime stuff here they got going on some demon slayer my hero one piece dragon ball still got one more ten dollar page puncher but we may grab that predator for an opener for 25 bucks but still got some stuff happening here in collectors let's head back now to the toy aisle and see what you got happening back there here's the new turtle shipper again there's leo donnie raff and mikey fugglers uh you got the little what are those things called drawing drones yes man i couldn't remember walk around this way got some people coming and there's the shirts party uh, pizza fire van don't yeah, let me guys i'm about half asleep this morning it has been a long week and it's only tuesday <laughs> yeah, let's see what they got in here there's turbo cami uh, i'm trying to see if they have a ray filet i know that one i filmed over the weekend had a bunch of him looks like somebody's already picked through this they probably picked all the rays out and put them on ebay by now yeah i don't see any rays in there but anyways keep checking these guys got little four wheelers and what not else on this little turtle display but now we're going back to check yes the toys here we go people let's take a look what we got that looks different quintesson high commander i don't think i've seen that one before oh they got um gears um not much else going on different there in transformers godzilla and kong don't see any tiamats or energized godzillas there's Ray Filet. They got one back here. High school Mikey. High school Wrath. Uh, eh, not much else going on down through there. We haven't already seen plenty of times. What else we got here? Donnie and Leo Fugglers. Some more of them back here. Have we got anything in the retros? Ray Filet. So I got two different versions of Ray Filet. Some storage shell back in there. Um, there's a bunch of turtles stacked up there. I don't know what all's in that. It's mutant mayhem stuff or tails and ninja turtles as they're calling it now. Uh, new retro Iron Man, retro Iron Man. So they're going to be getting two pegs of Iron Man. There is a bunch of them. There's Model Nine, Model Twenty, Nefaria, and Nefaria is there. Whiplash. They still got Baron Strucker and Wonder Man. We'll scan them again. See if they're on clearance. Oh, clearance. Uh, let's see what we got on down through here. Dinosaurs. There's our DC. I don't see any of the new DC yet. Um, What do we have here? Adam West, Grayson's. Grayson, 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 Grayson. Bullseye, Common Fusion, another Grayson, and a Batfleck. Uh, so we got the Fang Fighter, the Skiff, A Wings, Skiff, A Wings. Oh, this is new. A little Batman wrist launcher thing. Six darts and a belt clip, hey? Eh? Um. Darth Vader, Darth Maul. They do have the Cobb Banth figure back there. Oh, they got this dude, IG-12. I saw him at the uh, Fort Henry Drive Walmart. I just didn't include it that in my last weekend hunt. Because that's about all I saw different in that Walmart. 
Uh, not much going on there. We haven't already been seeing. You got some bunch of black series up here. Looks like they're all acolyte figures, maybe. Yep, I got two stacks of acolyte figures up here. We've already seen those. I'm not gonna mess with getting those down, wrist drop them on my head and everything else. Um, no new wrestling. They do have the stinger. We'll dig through those AEWs here in a second. They have had the new wave. There's Austin Theory, Taker, Gunther. These were all takers, and they're still all takers. Kane, DiBiase, Papa Shango. Looks like the basics are the same as they were last time I was here. Um, Kurt, Oscar, Belair, Lashley, and our Ultimates. There we have three of the Stinger. Cash. Nothing going on in AEW. And this Walmart sadly does not have G.I. Joe and Motu any longer. So. Oh, they got the little ship there. Oh, they got the grab thing. <laughs> that thing looks pretty cool. Does it come with those figures? That's cool. That just means the scale is compatible with. There you go, and a little crab mech battle playset. That thing looks pretty cool. We'll get pictures of that and this little Sonic or Shadow bike. I don't know if anybody want to find that stuff or not. If you want to try to get the Sonic 3 stuff, he just needs to. I'm, no, I'm not going to be vulgar. I was going to say he needs to, be, got to have his other hand there making the middle finger, but that's another way to get you a Shadow figure if you can't find the one on the uh, card. 19, only five more bucks, and you get a motorcycle with him. And five bucks for the motorcycle accessory. Eh, that's not that bad. There's the big, weird looking Sonic. Got some bow legged things going on on that one. There's a little small Sonic figures, a bunch of those. Some Sonic Prime eggs, whatever that is, or a capsule. Our usual drum of Hot Wheels. Oh, and then we do have some a WWE shipper down here. Solo Sokoa, top picks. I don't know if I've seen this wave. Is this the one that was in the shipper? The Rock, Cody Rose, and Solo. It must have been. It's kind of beat up. Series 110 Reigns. There's San Martino. Monday Night War Rock. Top Picks Rock. I like the belt the Rock comes with. That WWE Championship belt. Hmm. Um, anything hiding out back here on end caps? Let's just take a peek in the Hot Wheels shipper. It looks a little full. Oh, this is cool. A helicopter. Huh. News copter. All right, we're probably going to do what I normally say. We're going to look through this, most likely off camera, to see what not we can find, because those are ones I haven't seen before. These I have. Somebody's been through them, but they're stacked up neatly. But we're going to dig through some of these off camera. We'll see if I find anything good, I'll show it to you. That helicopter's pretty cool, though. It might be coming home with us. Oh, we got the Pokemon in cap here, guys. Let's take a look at that. Then we'll glance diecast really quick. All right, we're going to look through the diecast. If anything cool is up there, I'll show it to you. But if not, we may be done with this Walmart. All right, guys, diecast wise, this is about what I dug out of there. That was pretty cool. Got the helicopter. That one right there, that drag mark. I saw that one online. That's the one I was hoping to find. I saw somebody else find it. I thought that looked pretty sweet. Not much else going on. We haven't seen a bunch of in diecast. We're going to check uh, clearance. Anything up there, I'll show you. If not, we're done here for this morning. All right, so Greenville's got the tables out here too. And these are pretty full. Let's see what's on them. Wherever I go, whatever I see. Um, well, I thought they might have just moved some of the crappy stuff out here. <laughs> I wonder if this was some of the stuff they might have had up front. They moved back here. I want to see if anything's still up there. All right. Well, we kind of crunched in here, guys. There's not a lot of space in between these, but we'll see what we can find. Still got the turtle tots, the Ouija. Um, all this. There's an anime. I can't tell who it is. I think we've seen that one before. And these are 15 bucks here in case you haven't found them in your area yet or seen any other hunters find them. But they are showing up at Ross pretty regular. I've seen it in a lot of people's videos and Instagram posts. There's Mickey Mouse, Water Squirters. Uh, more Turtle Tots. Another Luigi. 
one of the smaller Mario figs back in there. An avatar, one of the Komodo rhinos from the Fire Nation. There's Barry Allen, multiverse. Still hoping to find the rest of that wave, Ross. Hopefully during the holiday season is one of the things that come in. This thing is cool looking. I'd like to have a regular figure of that. I'm sure they've made one, but I say that I don't know. They may not have. There's the Avatar set. They got it here. I don't think I'll pay attention to how much this is. 25 bucks. Hmm. That still seems a bit much to me. Just in case nobody knows what this thing is, which... If I can get it to open. There we go. A set of four figures. Zuko, Aang, Katara. Oh, I forgot Toph. Is it Toph? I think so. I don't know. Anyways. What else we got, guys? The hyena. That one's a cool looking pop. Let's step back in between these tables and look. Here's some kind of big anime thing we'll check out. I don't have any mega figs here for DC that I can see. Uh, what is this thing? Demon Slayer. I can't get a hold of it. The box is too slippery. Well, anyways, there it is. <laughs> What's the price on this sucker? Seven ninety nine. It's eight bucks. Um, a scooter back in there. There's some kind of big Assassin's Creed like spear thing is showing up. That'd be cool to see. That would be tempting to buy. It looks as cool as it did in the pictures. All right, guys, we're going to step back here. We're not smushed up again. Take one more gander. Not seeing too much new and exciting. With the exciting thing I see, they are starting to expand out the toy section, which means it is time to start loading up for Christmas. There is a Nightmare Before Christmas bobblehead. I think I saw that the other day when I was here, but we're going to look around a little bit more. If I do find anything else, I'll let you see it. If I do not, that will probably do it for the Green Bull Ross. What have we got up here? We got a bunch of toads. A lot of fungi. Here's uh, Britney Spears, Luigi. We got this two-pack of Iggy and Mario. Uh, oh, one of the Star Trek figs. First time seeing one of those. Three ninety nine. They got Spock. And then Luigi. More anime. And all kinds of Funko Pops. Dracula one's cool. All right, everybody. That appears to be it. We're heading out of here now. Anything else, I'll show you. But if not, we're done. It is once again time to visit Target in Bristol, Virginia and begin another wonderful week of toy hunting in this establishment. Let's head inside, see what they got. Let's get sexy with the collector spot. <laughs> Featuring Target. What have we got? Still got a bunch of those Daredevil big pops. What's it down to now? Still thirteen forty nine. Like I said, they've got several of them down there. Oh Lord, check this out. They've got big versions of these things now. Catnap. I wonder how much that costs. I know a certain twelve year old lives in my abode that would probably like that. Crusty Phalong. Man, that is, I cannot believe somebody hasn't grabbed that yet. That's been there forever. It's getting a little box damage to it now. It's gone to peg so long. This has been here forever as well. They got some stuff. Movie Maniacs was 50% off. The gaming figures, which would be the Riddler there. He's eleven forty nine. Demon Slayer. Spawns down twelve forty nine. Page Punchers, five oh nine. Uh, is there anything here I'd even remotely be interested in buying? I've already got Riddler. I've already got her two Batman. Batgirl. Uh, what else we got here? Monolith. He should be on clearance. There's the Ronin 2-pack. There's a Yugi Oogi O oh, bag clips. Jimi Hendrix. Parks and Rec, Mars Attacks, the Bleach figures. Isn't there a platinum of this, some of these things? They really don't have them. I do like the card art on these are awesome. It's Godzilla Super 7s. Leonardo. Still got some more of those turtles. Only one of the blind box. Transformer figures is sold. Those will go like crazy if they ever get clearance. Bunch of those pop rides. Green Goblin Steel, a Spirit Splinter, Darth Maul, Iron Man Mark I, Vicky Vale. Bunch of bitty pops. Funko pops for days and days and days. The Hulk Buster, there might be a possibility if it hits clearance. Oh, here we go. Santa Claus Cartman. <laughs> 
Well, I think we're going to call it today, guys. Not a whole lot going on. We'll be back in here tomorrow, which will be our last hunting day of the week here. But we'll see if they get anything in tomorrow. All right. They've got some stuff here today. We're looking at this first, though. Let's we'll start checking it out. Look at this. Platinum Clock King. That's pretty cool to see. And then Platinum Red Hood. barcode if you need it what else we got here bat flag adam west fire metallo and a fire metallo may be on clearance now they've got um oh wait no it's not the exclusive that's the oh well never mind look down here holy crap all kinds of commander steel that's actually not a bad looking figure there's a sinestro too i don't see a place for sinestro yet It'll become an exclusive, but yeah, here we go. They do have some multiverse this morning. I want to check out here the white. Is this new? No, we've seen him before. But they even got some more of these, apparently. They got one of them left. Optimus Prime trailer. And Vader. Ah, oh, sweet. That's pretty cool. Now, he had the price glitch on the website. I don't know if I showed that or not. On the website for the $22. I wonder if he's still 23 bucks or if he's marked up now. Same two packs. No Legends. Um, Simpsons House. Eh, not seeing anything else different down here. But yeah, we got some Collector's Editions. And then one of the new Target exclusives. Plus we got Vader, Optimus Prime. There's a Warlord. It's more stuck over there. <laughs> Not much happening down the old video game aisle. But yeah, let's get us some pictures and we got us some stuff to look at here. Yay! Here we are on the wrestling aisle and look, they do have Vader and look, he still is $22.99. It's only 23 bucks for Vader. Awesome price for an ultimate. I got one here. I may bring the other one back over here. Before we leave, there's a Mandalorian privateer. Like somebody said he should be going on clearance, but not really sure uh, merman still down there on clearance bunch of street sharks none of the new ones skeletor skeletor Genghis and um, Baxter nothing different I didn't flip through these Um, Godzilla. Hey, they got a toilet taxi. It was sold out the last time they had them out there on the end camp. They must have found one or got another one in. Scar King. Battle Roar Scar King. There's Kong with the axe. That one's new. Oh, they got a WWE shipper. And they got Cody Rhodes. Cody, Hulk, and Hulk. Mysterio, Mysterio. Orton. And another Orton. Phenomenal AJ Styles, the phenomenal. There's Tony D'Angelo, Trish Stratus, Finn Balor, and Finn Balor, Ricochet, and AJ Styles. Isn't this the series that has I bet Sandman was right there? He's the only one figure missing out of this whole shipper. It had to be Sandman. That sucks. Sandman's got a chase too in that wave. Rookie and Mr. Bloom. Nothing different on the Batman in camp. But yeah, we got some new stuff here this morning. Again, you got the Kong, you got Vader, you got the Multiverse uh, Platinums. That's pretty cool to see. But let's look around a little bit more, guys, and see if we can find us anything else. One thing I just saw was the Rebel U-Wing. Is this the one that was on clearance? Rebel U-Wing, 29 bucks. Nope, this must be a newer Micro Galaxy. Huh, that's pretty sweet. I like the coloring on it. But yeah, I just saw that before I had to turn the camera off. I wanted to show that one real quick. Now, we're going to check out the diecast and collector. All right, guys, we're back in Target. We found the other, the two Platinum Collector's Editions over in the toy section. Here is the other. It's not Platinum, but there's Ragman. So they've gotten a case of these things in at least. Kind of wonder, though, if they got a full case because I wouldn't think that the Platinums would be left of the other two and the commons be gone. But anyways, we'll see. We do have these here today. We're going to look around a little bit more. Everything else here in Collectors is the same. So let's go dig around to see if we can find anything else before we wrap up another week at Target.
Hello, one and all. Welcome to the Man Hunt, and welcome to the wrap-up to another wonderful week of toy hunting adventures on The Man Collects. My name is Chris. I am The Man Collects, and I want to thank everyone for taking time to watch the video here on YouTube. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button. Good week of toy hunting this week, guys. To be honest, this week started off really, really slow, but then it gained some momentum towards the end of the week and turned out to be an excellent hunt week as, finding some, as far as finding some awesome new stuff out here on these shelves. But let's get down to it. Let's wrap up this hunt week. And let's start with something that's not in the top three, but something I wanted to mention. Target exclusive WWE Ultimate Vader. If you see that thing on the app or the website, it's been out of stock for quite a while. The pre-order sold out, but it is only showing $22.99. As you saw in the video, the one I found there in Target. Now, I didn't why, why I did not scan that figure, I don't know. Didn't even think about it. But you notice the placard, the hanging placard there on the shelf was labeled $22.99. The last two Ultimates that have hit Target, The Undertaker and now Vader, have only been $23. I've heard it's a pricing error in Target's system. They did end up correcting The Undertaker and moving him up to $33. Bucks. So if you collect Ultimates, you like that Vader figure. If you see it, you might want to jump on that if it is the $23 price point before they do fix it and up the thing to $33. So just wanted to mention that. That thing was showing there at $22.99. If I do find another one this weekend, I will scan it. We'll confirm that they are only $23. Bucks. But just wanted to point that out real quick before we get to the official wrap-up. And now that's out of the way, we got the business handle. Let's get down to it. Right there, everybody. What was the top three coolest finds from my week of toy hunting, in the humble opinion of your toy hunter here, The Man Collects? We're going to start with our number three coolest find from the week. It is a, a combination of six different figures. So as always, we have more than three things in the top three. But the DC Multiverse Collector's Editions. Now, I've kind of backed off from trying to be a completionist on that line. And just because there's so many, you get a platinum of every single release. So if you got a three-figure wave, it's really a six-figure wave. Too expensive, too much space taken up. That's just me rambling. Let's get on with it. At GameStop, we did find the most common. We didn't find any Platinums there, but we did find the, the uh, most recent wave of them with Dark Knight Returns or Ernest, Ernest Borgnine Batman. If anybody knows who Ernest Borgnine is, look him up. He's an actor. He has passed away now. Rest in peace, sir. But I think that Batman head sculpt kind of resembles him. But they had that one there. They had the Huntress, and then they had the Green Lantern Corpse. It was cool to see those figures. Didn't expect to see those this quickly. It was cool to see them there, and then we bounce over to Target, and we see the other way. We see Common Ragman, Platinum Clock King, and Platinum uh, Red Hood. So we saw the, like, the most two recent waves of DC Multiverse Collector's Editions between GameStop and Target. Again, just because I'm not buying all of them doesn't mean I don't enjoy looking at them. I can't enjoy them there in the stores. It was cool to see them, and all six of those figures are my number three pick for the coolest thing from the week's hunt. And again, if you're trying to find them, looks like GameStops and Targets is your destination right now. Track those things down. Uh, Best Buy and Books a Million get them sometimes, so you might can check there as well. But I haven't seen anybody finding them there yet. All right, that is number three. What's the middle of the road? What's deuces? What's number two this week for the coolest thing we found? That's also a find from GameStop. And the new Marvel Legends wave of Strange Tales figures, we found Lilith. Now, just to spoil some of the toy haul here, I did buy the Lilith figure, but I forgot it in my office, so I can't show it to you during the toy haul, but we did pick that up. Uh, that wave looks great. Really excited for the build-a-figure in that wave of Blackheart. Um, in my opinion, Blackheart was the big bad in one of the greatest 90s comic stories that I have read. That is called Hearts of Darkness, where Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and the Punisher team up to take on uh, Blackheart. If you're not familiar with that story, look it up and read it. Awesome comic. But once again, I do want to get that for the Build-A-Figure. I, I think they picked a good assortment of figures for that wave. It's coming out the right time of the year. It's got that gothic Halloween feel to it. So it's cool to see some of it there in GameStop. And I am going to be hunting GameStop this weekend, trying to find some more of that wave as well. And I think Amazon, Entertainment Earth are starting to get them in stock for shipping if you want to get them off one of your online retailers. But the Lilith figure looks great. That was cool to see it. It was the number two pick for the coolest things I found this week. GameStop in Bristol, Virginia. Lilith, Marvel Legends, Strange Tales. And now let's move up to it. We're to the top floor. We're to the number one draft pick. What was the number one coolest thing I found this week? I got to give that to a wave of multiverse as well. We found them here at the Greenville Walmart. And one reason I'm giving that the number one spot, my hunt week was in a slump, guys. I wasn't finding crap in these stores. I go in the home base, I found these multiverse figures, and then the rest of the week just came together. But we did find a Cyborg, Red Hood, The Question, and Shining Knight there in the Greenville Walmart. Uh, those figures are cool. It's great to see the new wave of multiverse. Some of those, like Shining Knight, I'm not very familiar with her character. Even the effigy, I'm not really sure where that one comes from. But The Question and Cyborg look great. 
Uh, Red Hood looks good as well. I'm just not super familiar, and I'm not really having kind of nostalgic attachment to Red Hood. So to spoil the hall portion, I didn't buy him. But, but again, so the question, there is no question in my book. That is the best figure of that wave is the question. But the, all those figures, if you're trying to find them, check your Walmart stores. I've seen a lot of people finding them there, posting on social media. And then also GameStop starting to get them. I found Cyborg and Red Hood there this week. And a lot of people have found Effigy, Shining Knight, and uh, Question there as well. So GameStop and Walmart, your current source for those. And Target will be getting them eventually. And I assume Books a Million will as well. But those are number one for this week, the new Multiverse Wave. So there we go, everybody. We got our top three established. Let's get into a toy haul. Now, I've already told you I can't show you all my toy haul because I forgot to bring Lilith home, but we did grab her. I'll show her on Wednesday's video or something for next week so you can get a look at her if you didn't see her good enough in the video. But two things I did pick up. I did grab a couple of Hot Wheels. We got the Chevelle. We got the 49 Drag Merc. I'm really excited to find this one. That thing looks great. It's a shiny. It's kind of hard to keep any kind of glare off of it, but hopefully you saw it in the video there where I found it. And then I'm a big fan of the old Chevelle, so I wanted to get that one as well. So we got a couple of new diecasts to go in the diecast collection. Uh, one I was hoping to find on clearance. I know I saw Figure Fever, and I'm pretty sure T3 Collects found this as well. But I did find the Elder Predator here for $25 at the Bristol, uh, Tennessee Walmart. So we did grab him to go in our Predator collection. Uh, NECA guys, in my opinion, they do awesome on the movie figures that they make. And these Predator figures look great. Um, I've got a bunch of them already, definitely for 25 bucks. wanted to add this one. And this one's probably going to come out of the packaging. I'm going to pose him somewhere. But we did grab us a $25 Predator to add to our NECA Predator Collection. And then our last two pickups, and yes, they are DC. We did grab us a Cyborg. I don't have a good, I guess, comic Cyborg in my collection. I'd really like to have a Superpowers Back Metal Cyborg if they ever put that one out. But again, we did grab this one to go with our DC stuff. It's from the DC Rebirth storyline, but... We got Cyborg of the New Wave to go in our Multiverse Collection. And then my last pickup, and I think I may have already said this, but this is the best figure of the new Multiverse figures that are out, in my humble opinion. The colors look great. Great looking figure and box presentation. But you got the question. Check out the blues on him, guys. That looks awesome. Platinum figure question. Well, we grabbed him there from the Greenville Walmart as well, and this is probably my favorite thing that I picked up this week, but... As far as my toy haul, guys, the question tops it off. That is it. That is the video. Hope everybody did enjoy it. And now let's get into some social media and wrap this up because, hey, Archer, right now, it's Thursday night. His live stream's on. I want to get back and watch my buddy Archer. So let's talk about Instagram for The Man Collects. If you go to my About page on YouTube, if you look at the description of this wonderful video you are currently watching or you see the splash on the screen, all those will show you ways to find me on Instagram. So look me up on there. Give me a follow. Send me a message should you choose to. And then we got the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. If you are that first time viewer or you've came back multiple times, you just haven't hit subscribe. Consider subscribing to The Man Collects and seeing what comes down the pipe here on YouTube. We are there, guys. End of the week. Getting ready to head into the hunt weekend. Hopefully everyone has had a wonderful week. To all my toy hunters and collectors, I wish you happy hunting this weekend. And I will see you Monday when the man comes around.